Good morning. Welcome to the second episode of my newest series, New Engine November, where I'm going to be taking a look at a new different game engine every week of the month of November to see if any of them can happen to take the throne of Unity and be my go-to engine. Last week, I checked out Unreal Engine, and I had a ton of fun with it, so let's move on to this week's engine, Construct 3. Like usual, I'm only going to give myself three days to work on this, so let's jump right into it. Right off the bat, let's go over what Construct 3 is. It's a simple 2D game engine that's completely web-based, so you can run it on anything. Well, time to get started. Learning Construct was actually pretty simple. It had an intuitive layout, and I figured out the ropes really quick. It took me quite a bit less time to figure out what I was doing compared to Unreal Engine. Hmm, but what game am I going to make? Let's see if anyone gave me suggestions in the comments of my last video. Ooh, here's one. Cool series. I'm excited for what will come of it. If you want ideas, uh, make a simple platformer where you can jump. What? You guys are no help. You know what? I'll use that idea just to spite you. Hmm. A platformer game where you can jump. What if I make it so you can only jump? No movement of any other kind, except for jumping. What if I made a rage precision platformer like Getting Over It or Jump King? The main movement mechanic could be a sort of charged up slingshot jump thingy. Well, let's get into the engine. First, I started by making a basic setup for this game. I borrowed a little bit of code from a golf demo and in almost no time at all I had a jumping player. This already felt super good and I felt confident moving on with this game. With this, it's time to add a couple of more mechanics. I added a bouncy mushroom and a moving platform that works most of the time. We'll just say that. With this, I decided that it had enough features and I was ready to start working on the art. Construct had a marketplace, the Construct Asset Store, but they didn't have any free art assets on it. So sadly, I had to completely skip this deck and make my own. Usually, my go-to for art is pixel art, but I decided that for this one, I'd try something different. Vector art. I played around with shapes for a little bit, and then I landed on true gold. Look at this beautiful frog. Just a masterpiece, if I do say so. I made up some animations and a rough tile set. Now time to build out the level. So this is how the game turned out. Really, I had a ton of fun with it. I made a pretty simple level that was surprisingly fun and captured exactly the feeling that I was looking for. I also had a buddy over and he played through the game and had a ton of fun with it, leading us to talk about the game for over an hour straight. This was super fun and the game was a great foundation made pretty simply and quickly. It was officially the end of my time period and I was done with the project. But wait, don't leave yet, I'm not done with the video! Time to get to my thoughts about Construct. First up, let's talk about the engine experience. Construct was actually really fun to work in. It was simple and I needed less random googling to get things figured out. This is great for simple games, but that's when its simplicity starts to fail a little. If you want to make more complicated features, then that's where it's going to get rough. It lacked some of the higher functionality that was available to me in Unity and Unreal, but it was nice up until you needed those things. Compared to Unreal and Unity, the performance of this engine was great. It was browser-based, and it wasn't any harder for my computer to run than a Google Doc. Of course, it is a very basic engine graphic-wise, and it is only 2D, and I admittedly didn't add any extra bells and whistles for more eye candy, but at least in my experience, it was pretty good. 
Construct's marketplace or asset store wasn't like the other engine's asset stores. Instead of having a mix of free and paid assets, everything was paid. And I wasn't going to drop a couple of bucks on a simple dumb game I made in three days. So in the asset store department, Construct is a definite downgrade from Unity or Unreal. And the bad news doesn't just stop there. Let's talk about its monetization. Right off the bat, let's be blunt, I don't like it. Instead of taking a cut of the revenue you'll make with a game you make in it, they limit the functionality of the engine behind a subscription. There's a number of reasons why I hate this marketing strategy so much. Number one, this is making you pay for the engine and features before you can actually even export the game and make money off of it. And number two, this engine is clearly targeted towards beginners. Yes, it is completely browser-based, no downloads, plus it has a very simplified programming language that is clearly targeted towards beginners. So let's paint a picture here. You want to try out game dev and you don't know where to start. You find a completely online game engine that seems pretty easy. You start and the engine is easy to learn. You get into it and boom. You want to continue on, but to get the features you want, you're going to have to pay. So you can either fork up the money for this hobby or you can just give up everything and learn a new engine. That's a hard decision. Um, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to hate on Construct 3 that hard. I actually had a really good time with it and I would love to finish the game to more completion, but I guess I say that with every game. Anyways. Stick around for next week, which is going to be Game Maker Studio. If you have any ideas for games, I'm all ears. Thanks to the, like, three of you watching this. Um, if you like this video, then like and prescribe. If you didn't, don't. Or whatever. I'm not your mom. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.